adulthood is ghetto. It's not a trend. I can always swipe my credit card and pay back later. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about something very, very interesting. I've been seeing a lot of videos about this on YouTube and I'm gonna give my take on it. It is leveling up in your 20s. I am turning 26 next month and I feel like I am in the right frame of thought to talk about it because my 20s really hit me rock bottom and I've learned so many things from my early 20s till now and I feel like now I have sense. I have like the best advice of course I'm gonna keep growing I'm gonna keep evolving things are gonna happen things are gonna change but I do feel like based on what I've learned what guys have put me through whew, they have put me through it, guys I feel now that I'm I'm not complete yet but I'm happy I'm comfortable and I'm living my best life so I feel like this is like the perfect time to talk about this make sure you thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel like this video I just said that okay but yeah do that again comment down below how to level up in your opinion or if you're in your 20s or even if you're not in your 20s comment down below what tips and tricks you have for people in their 20s let's get into this video so the first thing i want to talk about maybe one of the most important things is your finances in your 20s you need to get that shit together for me it took a while for me to get it together but i feel like now i've got the groove of things that i could actually pay my bills and survive so and i'm actually saving a little bit so i think that's something that's progress but get your finances together so whether it is you want to start a side hustle whether it is you want to get a full-time job do it for me my full-time job now is not paying me enough money to live the life I want to live so that's why I just completed my cybersecurity class I'm actually interviewing for jobs right now so wish me luck guys so I can get that you know good cyber security job make sure that my savings is good i want to have enough savings just in case if i lose my job god forbid i can survive for at least six months so i think the first and most important thing is getting your finances together make sure you can afford the things you want to do make sure you have some savings set up just in case of an emergency because these jobs guys you cannot trust them they could replace you at any time any moment you do not want to risk it so make sure you are set when it comes to finances you have to prioritize what's more important to to you whether it's comfort or actually looking good for me it's to be comfortable i want to be comfortable i want to be able to afford to take care of myself and my family so that's more of my financial goals you need to see what's more important to you if you want to look good if you want to buy luxury items whatever is important to you make sure you have the money to spend in my early 20s i wasted so much money so much money it's crazy like i never saved anything i started saving money when i turned 24 to 25 which is so late and i've been working since i I was like 17 18 so that's a really long time so i wasted a lot of money so i highly recommend build up a savings if anything happened just like when the pandemic happened make sure you can afford the life that you're living right now at least be able to pay your rent being able to buy food for at least six months that should be your goal in your 20s i believe you should be the best you the best version of yourself because whatever you do in your 20s is going to affect the rest of your life the decisions you make in your 20s changes everything it changes your book it changes everything the trauma you go through in your 20s is going to lead you on forever i don't care how much therapist you go to i don't care what you do whatever happens in your 20s leads for your ever ever life so very be careful about how you live your life and how good you're living your life because there's some people that are just living their lives but they're not really living their lives to the fullest so be the best you for me i realized that i wasn't living the best in my 20s i wasn't living to my highest potential again that's why I said I went back to school, finish up school so that I can afford the life that I want. I am back on YouTube doing the things I love because I actually love YouTube, but I just never made time for it. So I'm living exactly what I want to live right now. So be the best you and do the best you. By being the best you, if you need to go back to school, go back to school. If you need to go get back that certification, go and get back that certification. Whatever trade school you're doing, make sure you complete it in your 20s. For a lot of us that don't have kids, we are so privileged and blessed to not have children because whoo by the time kids come in you're basically like the opportunities are like you're 
you're trying to juggle everything at the same time so it's really really hard i have a friend that has four children and she's about to be 26 so she literally feels like her life is over most days so i'm telling you now if you don't have kids whatever you're doing that you did not finish finish it now because if you don't finish it now you're gonna be lazy and not want to finish it by the time you get older life is not going to get easier as age come more responsibilities are going to happen your mother is going to get older she's going to need you more your father is going to get older your siblings might need you more so please complete everything that you got to do now because this is the only time you got when people always say oh you got time you can do that later you really don't you really don't most people who are in their 30s they wish they would have completed things way back in their 20s because they can't do it now if you ask a lot of people then your 30s they will tell you I wish I went back to school oh I wish I did this I wish I did that it's always a regret so make sure you complete those things that you are actually in the process of completing finish it up whether or not you want to go the career route or the entrepreneurship route figure out now which route you want to go and focus on that route and go fully if you want to do both like for me I like the career part of things and I also love the entrepreneurship part of things so I'm doing both so I'm splitting my energy between both Monday through Friday is for my career and weekends I put towards my entrepreneurship even after work Monday through Friday I still edit videos for my YouTube channel and also edit content for my business so I split up my time so that it could balance it out because I want both when it comes to relationships whoo relationships do not waste time on useless people I know you probably like oh my god there's nobody useless oh my god the Bible said every human being is useful I get it I'm a Christian too I was raised in a church but there's some people that are useless in your life I'm not saying the person is useless but I'm saying the person is useless in your life when it comes to friendships relationships whatever any type of relationships that feel like it doesn't add any value to your life detach yourself from those people because it's like a lingering smell a lingering odor in your life that never stops growing I feel like in my 20s if I would have cut out most people in my life earlier my life would have flourished so much relationships that I refused to step out of and stayed in for five years I realized that I wasted my time when I could have literally been with someone else that I actually loved and actually wanted to be with so if you're in a relationship and you feel like you're not fully in it you don't love that person you just have the idea like oh I just want to be in a relationship you're wasting your time because it's gonna backfire against you and then you're gonna regret the whole time that oh my god I just wasted five years of my life and don't be like me okay end it move on trust me there's always gonna be someone better someone finer someone richer someone sexier someone hotter there's always going to be someone better I used to think like oh my god this is my life I cannot live this man this man is the love of my life I love him so much but don't do that okay don't do that if you feel in your heart that that person is not for you even when it comes to friendship if you have a weird vibe with somebody end it now you don't have to malice them you could just be like you know don't hang out with them as much just keep your distance okay and focus on actually people that care about you and people that want to see you win a lot of friendships and relationships that you're gonna have in your 20s are full of shit most people are coming into your life because they want something from you you are bringing more value to their table they're not bringing anything or any value to you so get rid of useless people in your life that don't bring any value to you okay you know exactly what you want you know your dreams your goals and aspirations find people that match and align with that every friend that I have in my life right now actually align with the goals and my future and the things I want to do in the future I don't have any useless friend if you're not adding much to my life you usually call an acquaintance I'll hang out with you a few times but my friends my girls my future bridesmaids are people who actually align with the things I'm doing and are going where I'm going so I see them in my future I see them babysitting my children I see them hanging out around my husband you know like things like that so if you have a friend right now and you don't feel like you see them around your husband and around your children in the future they are not your friend they could be your friend from distance or acquaintance but the people that you want in your circle need to match and align with the path that you have because I will tell you based on who you're around based on who you surround yourself with changes every aspect of your life if I wasn't in that five-year relationship with my ex I promise 
you, I would have been way in a different line of life ever. Of course, you can never regret or how God ordained your path, but I feel like we have a lot of control as well. God has given us the power and the authority to choose and be around people that add value to our life. So make sure, make sure you choose wisely. Another thing in your 20s that you should be mindful of, okay, is moving out. Mm. Adulthood is ghetto, is ghetto. Moving out has been such a trend on YouTube, like moving out at 18, moving out of my mama's house at 19. Oh my God, it should not be a trend. You making one of the biggest financial decisions in your life, it's not a trend. You should have enough money saved. You should have enough money, not just saved for the apartment, but the furniture. Oh my God, it took me so much money to furnish my apartment. Oh my God, I was like, wait, you're joking. You're really joking. I'm buying a couch that costs this much? Are you serious? I gotta buy a coffee table, a dining set? Ah! It was crazy, but I saved up for it. I saved up for it, and thank God I got good credit. I could always swipe my credit card and pay back later. But we're not talking about credit card right now. But make sure you save up for that apartment. Do not follow these YouTubers who are on YouTube talking about moving out at 19. That shit is not real. Most of them are putting themselves in debt because they want to look cool on YouTube. Most people do that for clout, and your life should not be clout, okay? You should take that thing seriously. You don't want to get into credit card debt. You don't want to get into collection. Elections. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I have seen things. I worked in the bank I've had bad credit before and my credit is amazing now. Thank God make sure you are preparing for that Because as soon as you move out of your mama's house to move back in is the worst feeling ever and nobody want to do that That is that's more ghetto than moving out So make sure you have enough money saved before you move out because who paying that rent is so Serious. Like you have to be disciplined financially. You have to make sure you align your bills in a certain date, certain times to make sure that you're not overlapping on bills. It's a lot of things that goes on into adulting, okay, that I just find out. When I was in my mama's house, I was helping her with the bills, of course, but they were not my bills, so I really didn't care. Even though I helped her every month, I didn't really care. I just gave her some money and that, that was it. I didn't care about the whole budgeting, making sure that the things were paid on time. My first two apartments in college when I had, when I was living with roommates, I used to just give her my own half of the rent and she would just pay. So I never ever, for the first time, I had to actually budget my money. Like, okay, this is going towards rent. This is going towards my light bill. This is going towards food. So make sure you have budgeted everything before you move out. Cause whoo, adulthood is ghetto. It is tragic out here okay tragic another thing in your 20s that you really need to do is travel i love traveling i feel like all the money i wasted on going to the club buying fashion nova outfits oh, by the time you realize you're already at 300 dollars on fashion nova or 400 dollars that's a plane ticket to even puerto rico or mexico back and forth i should have invested in traveling more in my 20s even though i traveled in my 20s i felt like i did not travel enough like i went somewhere every year in my 20s it's such a rewarding feeling i know a lot of people don't like to travel alone but i highly highly recommend that you travel find someone that can afford it find a friend that is not going to curse you out after the trip or during the trip that you can travel with find a traveling buddy that you can take on the trip because traveling is the most rewarding thing ever whenever you travel and spend money on travel you never regret it ever but guess what you always regret buying bottles in the club you always regret buying that shoes or buying that bag whenever you travel even if the experience was bad you would never ever ever regret it it's always a learning experience so i absolutely love it when you travel it gives you the opportunity to meet new people eat new foods get to know different environments like i've always said i wanted to be like a travel blogger where i would like travel the world and eat different food and gain like 50 pounds that's okay though i'm gonna get that lipo after i enjoy traveling and i'm going to do a lot of it this year by the grace of god in order to level up in your 20s the last thing i want to say is be you be unapologetically you and be selfish do not care about what anybody got to say about you whatever you are be so good at it that people just can't get enough of you i am still in the process of being the best me i wish i would have taken youtube more seriously i wish i would have taken instagram more seriously i wish i would have taken my career more seriously but i am on the ground 
grind and I am gonna get there but if you're in your early 20s I highly recommend you start now being yourself okay and not trying to be anybody else don't try to copy how anyone is talking understand that you're different your voice is different and you're never gonna be like anybody else so if you're gonna waste your whole early 20s or maybe your whole 20s trying to pretend to be something you're not you're just literally wasting your time the earlier you recognize yourself and know who you are you're gonna have an amazing amazing life you're gonna have amazing years amazing memories you're gonna be in touch with your emotions you're gonna be in touch with yourself because you know who you are I feel like that's one thing I definitely did not do in my early 20s I was so busy trying to catch the trends trying to be something I wasn't trying to sound like people that don't even care about me but oh my gosh guys I am you get tired and exhausted of trying to be like something else and someone else who don't even care about you so I recommend if you're in your early 20s just start now being yourself you're gonna thank me later and also listen to yourself be kind to yourself when you wake up in the morning look at yourself and tell yourself that you're beautiful you go on Instagram you comment on other people's pictures that you're beautiful and you have not even told yourself for the past year how beautiful you are you haven't talked to yourself you haven't told yourself how much you appreciate yourself and thank yourself for going through the whole pandemic oh my god the whole pandemic you went through you didn't even thank your body for not getting sick a lot of you guys have been lucky to not even get sick so you need to be kind to yourself I was sick twice okay I had COVID twice so I absolutely understand what my body went through so I will tell you thank yourself appreciate yourself start talking to yourself more when you wake up in the morning talk to yourself get in tune with your self spiritually know yourself know your voices recognize the voices inside of you and actually understand what they're telling you listen to your soul listen to your mind because you're never wrong I promise you you're never wrong every time I have not listened to myself I have ended up in deep shit and I'm not joking so listen to yourself understand that you're never gonna be wrong whenever you follow your heart your heart is always gonna lead you to what's best for you that's all I have to say I absolutely enjoyed and love my 20s I have enjoyed myself I've lived I won't say done it all but I've done it okay but now I'm just relaxing waiting for my future husband to come that's all I have to say today comment down below what's one lesson you learn in your 20s that you would like to share with everybody else something that really changed your life something that you felt like you should have really really listened to yourself about and you ended up not listening to yourself and then it ended up backfiring against you so let me know those things it could actually help me out because I'm still in my 20s and I'm still learning and I'm really excited to be in my 30s <laughs> in like four years oh my god I used to laugh at people that were in their 30s but now I'm like four years away wow Whew, I gotta let that sink in thank you guys so much for watching comment down below ideas you want to see on my channel I want to know what topics you want me to talk about let me know and thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video peace out I always do my right hand I always do my left hand it's better right no it's always better to do your right hand oh my god Ugh. <laughs> Baby,